Welcome to Parasite Cycle, a special demo version 1.03, an interesting looking game, and we're just gonna, um, let's not get into it, hang on, the store page. Hmm. Drawn in glorious one bit, Parasite Cycle is an atmospheric horror adventure through several locals in the cursed town of Ichi Ichishima. Uh, face off against monsters, parasites, and yourself as you struggle to delay the inevitable end of the world. It sort of gave me a thought of the Parasite Maxim. I wonder if it has any relation or similarities or inspiration from it. But, as the, I don't know, there's also a quote that says, I am the parasite that resides within you. You are you, I am me. Your body now belongs to me. You took a vow, ate the seed. Thou art no longer thee. Also making me think of uh, the anime, what was it, um... Uh, Fushi the Immortal. I'm trying to remember what the full name is, but if it's not inspired by that, but and people know what I'm talking about, then hey, good on you. It's a good series. But we're going to get into it and uh, check it out. Game contains mature themes such as depersonalization and depression. In addition, it also features gore and other graphic imagery which may not be suitable. Mm, very nice. Something is fascinating about dreams, even to one such as yourself. A parasite is what you are, what you have been, what you will be. Parasites dream. Sometimes of organic sheep, other times of love. A dream of a beach. Dragging your feet behind you, you walk to the shore. The beach is nice. Stay a while, won't you? It sounds nice. This is the parasite dreaming. Sometimes she appears in the water. The girl. Shareholders, huh? The council has come to a unanimous decision. We have chosen you. You are to enter Ichishima and eliminate enemy parasites. <laughs> I just lowered my volume. <laughs> Sorry. I just like that. It's like Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan is shocked in his face. I gotta zoom in on that. <laughs> I was watching a video about Joe Rogan. <laughs> oh god, I hate that about my headset. I raise the volume and it shows you what's on my browser. <laughs> okay, let's get back into the game here. You're to enter Ichishima and eliminate enemy parasites, threatening to harm our share. You'll be provided a body. Failure is not an option, therefore unacceptable. Embrace the cycle. You will do as you're told. Vanquish the parasites. You will do as you're told. You will do as you're told. It's like they're images of anonymous in a way. It's just not green. The dream ends with the girl walking into the water and drowning. The nightmare begins with the girl waking up. Now equipped. Do we have any items? No. The reflection of your host's face makes this mirror a nuisance. There's a first aid kit on the drawer. It doesn't look like you need to treat yourself now. It's a bathtub filled with water. The water is the temperature of your host's body. For a moment, you may lose where the body ends and where the water begins. Hmm. It's an open box of takeo food. There's a fortune cookie inside. Crack open the cookie and peek inside? Well, yeah. Instead of running, use what you have to solve your problems. Lucky number 7812. Lucky cat Chinese takeout. Use what you have. Hmm. So if I get in a situation where it looks like I should run, maybe I should fight instead? Depends on the capability of whatever... The thing is, that is, uh, 
taken over this body, if it is like in Parasite Maxim or not. It says there's something here, but... I'm guessing it mean, meant just the takeout. I can crack it open again? Eh, it's just redoing it. Oh, whatever. It's a calendar. Today is the 21st of December, 1998. 1998 is sure, is sure is popular in video games. It is a futon bed. Now is not the time to go sleep. A home telephone sits upon a small cabinet. Examine drawer. You open the drawer and find apartment 13 key. You take and put it in your pocket. It is home telephone. You can save here at no cost. Ooh. Senseless chitter chatter fills your ears as the voice converse. The shareholders take note of your progress, then let you continue. It's the door that leads outside. The door is locked. You hold the apartment 13 key in your hand. You slide the key into the hole and then twist it. The door is unlocked. You proceed with your host's daily commute. The train moves from station, or from the station, pursuing an unknown goal. You blend in among the people in the car perfectly. As you observe the exterior landscape, the machine gently rocks you. You find it. Hey. A voice calls out, presumably to you. Hey, neighbor. Ha! 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 It appears she ran as fast as possible to catch up to your sitting. N n neighbor I, I need a breather. She looks away, takes a few deep breaths, then looks at you. Right, you're the girl from 13, aren't you? You nod. Right, introductions. I'm Seiji. Seiji Sato. I live right, well, like really close to you. You hesitate before you nod once more. My name is... Kubo. Kubo Kaseko. Kaseko? I'd assume I'm pronouncing it right. You may call me Kisei-chan. Kisei-chan? Kisei? If you think of more ze, I don't know, I'm not I'm not too big of a wee, but I'll, I'll probably pronounce most right. Yeah, it's, it's uh, nice to meet you. Wow, seems like we, we've still got a while till arrival. It appears that way. Say, Kizzy Chan, uh, why don't we fill that while uh, with some friendly conversation? I mean, very well. Uh, who are you, Seiji Chan? Wow, that's a hard one. Uh, it is the only question I have asked you thus far. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just hard for me to answer. You know how it was. What? No. Oh. Well, I already said my name. I'm kinda into the occult. Oh, I got it. This will be helpful to you. Yeah. What is it? I live in apartment 407. Thank you for letting me know. Do I get to ask something now, please? You've been missing for a few days, haven't you? I was ill. Huh. You're feeling better now, though, right? Not truly. It is necessary to go to school, however. Why do you interest yourself in such a thing? Oh, you know. I just found it strange, is all. So this person just sees something abnormal and they're just chasing it in whatever conspiracy or like supernatural they're probably like part of like a supernatural school club or something perhaps i mean a transfer student missing her first day that doesn't happen often you're nosy makes me wonder if you're feeling homesick rather than sick i will not respond to that remark sorry i wasn't trying to pry have you heard about what happened to your study mate guide what happened to the study guide right so we're just chilling in class when Creak, creak, crack. All of a sudden, I'm covered by this white powder. Turns out, for whatever reason, the ceiling was unstable. Out of nowhere, Teach began rushing us outside class. And then, bang. The ceiling in that classroom collapsed. How is this relevant to my study guide? Oh, yeah, your study guide was in that classroom. They locked the classroom soon after. Just can't get in. I see. Oh, look, Kissy Chan, we're here. Here comes another day of school. You arrive at school safely. Seiji uh, bids you farewell at the school entrance. You pay her no mind as you feel a parasite near. Oh, they have, this has to be... Oh, yeah. Parasite and Max, I'm absolutely inspired. Oh, yeah. After school, you hide in the closet waiting. Or are they going to have similar powers, I wonder? What? It's... Oh, chapter one. Mycelium. Hmm. 
You take a deep breath in. You feel it. A parasite. No. Parasites near. And so it begins again. That dreaded parasite cycle. It appears to be an overgrown mushroom. A crimson liquid constantly rising into the cap. It brings you a feeling of disgust. Kaede, remember to lock the catacomb entrance. Leave the key with Tenma. Taifu. A scribbling in pen resides under the typewritten note. Note 2. The key's gone again, Kaede. Hmm. A rack of gardening supplies stands before you. Fertilizer, pots, and kettles, though not much of use. Hmm. All the mushrooms are the same? Wait, what? I'm not looking at that. Eh. Okay, what is this then? Looks like some sewer entrance. It's been taken over by some sort of plant. Hmm. You need to find a place to save if we're in danger of other parasites. This is a vending machine. The sign reads all products priced at 100. If you had any money on you, you would have been able to buy a bottle of water or an apple or something called a peach treat. Reminds me, as soon as I'm done this recording, I totally want to go out to like a grocery store. Get myself. Get me self. Yeah, get myself some, um. Lifesaver gummies. I haven't had it in forever. And I can f barely find them around here in Canada. We, ha we don't have much cool stuff in Canada, unfortunately. It's a school notice board. There are many papers on it, but only two catch your interest. Man, lost cat. Have you seen my cat? Her name is Aiko, and she's gone missing. Last seen on Saturday around the local convenience store. Help bring my cat home. It's a parasite. Absolutely. We're gonna run into it later. <laughs> Maybe. This is just a demo, so maybe maybe we won't. Maybe it's in the full game. But guaranteed, this lost cat is going to be a parasite. Just like in Parasite Maximum, it was instead a corgi or a beagle. Ball game. A baseball match was held on Sunday 20th. We understand that the demand for a rematch is high. Consider multiple dates and then circle the one you feel fits you. Under the text, there are multiple dates from the near future. The one that appears to be winning is... You can't tell because the voting system is absurd. Parasites don't like democracy. Oh. Ah, oh, I can't use... Uh, wait, if I can do... Always dash. Oh, there we go. That'll probably be helpful. Because shift is actually... I'd presume... Um, unless the C button was the run button. Let me find out. Dash button is... Hmm, I'll just have always run then. Because uh, usually the shift button is the the sprint, right? But instead, shift and X... Actually, no, shift is an immediate uh, shortcut to the inventory, so you don't have to hit X, then Z. I'd prefer shift for sprinting, to be honest, but I'll just keep fast running so I can move faster. Locker... Oh, locked. I'll check them all. Yeah, oh, they're all locked. Unfortunate. It is a paper detailing each student's locked position, a long list of names you don't care to recognize. A name you know, Sato Seiji, for, uh, first floor along the... Mm? Oh, wait. Kubo Kiseki, third floor. The name of your host. Oh, okay. Oh god, more lockers. I'll check them all out. <laughs> He's, that's another funny thing, though. If you're a parasite and you don't have the parasite's memory, like, think of it like, uh, on JoJo. Um, I can't remember which one. Part 4. Uh, King Crimson guy, Kira. Kira, when he's like, he took over the host body and he's trying to open the door and he's just trying multiple keys because he doesn't know which key belongs to the the host's, uh, you know, the original dude's ha keys, which goes to the front door and shows him trying each and every key. If these lockers don't have names, but one of them is the parasite's uh, locker, it only de like it depends on if the parasite has all the same memories as the host, or if they don't know anything and have to learn everything firsthand of, you know, of what the host used to be and where their locker is, and they have to find out themselves. That would be funny, but it depends on which the developer obviously goes for. Wait, this locker hallway is goddamn infinite. What am I doing? Holy crap. I would have just gone left forever. Wait, what is with that place? What? Huh. It's just like infinite lockers in that direction. Alright, what's in here then? 
is there a prepaid telephone card hanging off the table. It dons the image of a pur purple-boned robed man with the words, My phones are rattled! Scrawled on the back. Take the demo card. Nah. <laughs> huh. I'll presume... We could put it somewhere, or like maybe there's a secret door we can slide it into our mailbox. Or into the one in the lockers, even. Hmm. Huh. It's definitely for some kind of Easter egg, though. Teacher schedules, names, not of any use. What is this, a teacher's lobby? It's a payphone. Uh, you can save here for free by using the demo card. In the full version, you'll have to find coins. Hmm. Huh. Senseless chitter-chatter. Ah, the shareholder takes note of... Okay. That's useful. Demo card, yeah. Wait. There's something invisible right here. Is it, it is a desk with a computer on it. The machine is clunky, yet humans are still in amazement. You attempt to boot it up, but nothing happens. Yeah, well. This is a little bit of a strange bug here, but oh well. Let us get out of here. We got a demo card so we can save at the very least. Hmm, at least we don't have to search all of these desks. Locked. Damn, one of these lockers has to be unlocked. Alright, well this one has a note. A rip page out of scribbles, examine. <laughs> Interesting. Fly me to the moon. Hmm. Well, it could be for a puzzle, who knows. It looks like it's jammed shut. There's a sign on the door, storage. And it's locked. The stench of the male bathroom, enough to discourage you from stepping foot inside. Who would? This bathroom might be a trap. It's kind of dark. It's a mirror unfortunately displaying your host's likeness. Passing by it seems like it despises you. As much as you despise it. Hmm. Apart from the putrid smell, it's just a regular toilet. It's a bathroom stall door. It's locked. Hmm? There's something shiny inside the toilet bowl. Take the item out. Is this more Silent Hill referencing? Just in a non-3D? You reach into the toilet bowl, submerging your hand into the... Well, at least it's water! You take out the mystery item, and... A supply closet key. Beautiful. Can we wash our hands? Hmm... Developer, could you please make it so we can wash our hands afterwards so at least the at least the parasite shows that it wants cleanliness after reaching its hand in a toilet bowl? Or does the parasites not care about hygiene? That's my personal question. They should, we should definitely have the offer of washing our hands in the only sink in the bathroom, please. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's get the key. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in here? Oh. Maybe... I'm going to presume they're a parasite, and I don't know what will happen with conflicts, so I'm going to save before the conflict, because I don't know what kind of consequences exist in this game. Alright, so let's see what this is about. It looks like a pack of laundry detergent pods. Hey, were they eating Tide Pods? It's a handwritten note. Hina and me summoned the demon. I hid inside the storage, but then I heard a noise. Click. I don't think it's out there anymore, but I think I am locked in. I scream, but nobody hears me, and I am so, so hungry. Thirsty, too. Why did we do it? The ritual of two and three knocks. The ritual of two and three knocks in the final stall. Two and three in the final stall. Two and three. Hmm, two and three knocks in the final stall. Less thirsty, try drinking pen. Atraman, but it is not tasty, so I stopped. Drank snow for eating. I find that paper is okay, but too dry. Can't bite off towel. Chalk dries mouth. Okay, this thing's definitely a parasite and trying different things. I found tasty blueberries in a box. Hello. Looks like a girl about the age of your host. Her lips are chapped, her eyelids closed. In the faint light, you can see her tongue colored blue. She is dead and has been for a while. Huh? I mean, the host is dead, but is the parasite that's probably in it dead? 
All right, so what is about two, three, and final door? You reach out for a sixth knock. However, the stall swings open and you enter. Ah! I thought I had to like open the other stalls, like it was the two, the second stall and the third stall. Hm. Well, this is strange. I don't even know if this is where you're meant to go in the game. Is this a secret? Uh, it defines reality. So you sniff the air. The scent of parasite fills your mind. Something unspeakable emerges from the depths of a toilet. Oh. Lesser parasite encounter. Hey. It's a hand parasite. Oh, oh, I don't get a high, do I? You're a parasite. Yeah, no shit. So are you. I'd recognize that stench anywhere. Give me a sec to think, yeah? Earworm? What? You're an earworm parasite. Not all that different from me. I'm nothing like you. Oh, really? So you deny the fact that the body is not your own? You deny living off of another's energy? You deny using another's face to fit in? Listen, we might have gotten off on the wrong foot. Or rather, hand? Get it? Because I don't have feet? Yes, I understood. Sheesh, tough guy. Alright. Why don't we lighten the mood in this dark and creepy stall? What's your name? Coop. Ah, bah, 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 I'm gonna stop you right there. That's the name of your host, not your name, chum chum. If you want to know my name, I do not have one. Parasites don't have names. Parasites don't have faces. Well, this one does. Name's Handle. Pleasure to meet ya. And my face is a beauty, truly. Mascara brings out the best. That isn't a true face. You act as if the one you are wearing is, Kaseko. Sassy hand, but honest and truthful. Why did you kill her? Yeah, what do you mean? The female human in the supply closet. Oh, right. The girl died by her own hand. I needn't lay a finger, a single finger on her. I'd appreciate if you didn't bring puns into this. I'm just lightening the tension, darling. Do not call me darling. The term is reserved for humans who've grown affectionate. We are neither. It's difficult, you know? What is difficult? Keeping the sweat at bay with a smile. Knowing you're talking with your killer. There was a cult in Taiwan, Chen Tao. I could hear the echo of their celebrations. They believed the world would end in March. God will appear before us in human form, they said. People who believe in UFOs, bah, can't stand them. They soon packed their bags and moved to Garland in the US. Never heard, of them, never heard from them again, but you may have surmised, parasite, the end of the world would never come, or never came in March. I wish it did, though. Ha. Huh. Why are you saying this to me? You expect mercy. You vanquish for the shareholders, right? They need their humans to live because of their share. You ever think of, about if the humans themselves want to live? If parasites want to live? If you want to live? You don't have to answer that. I don't expect a fresh out of the womb worm to get it. Something to keep in mind for the future reference, though. Go on, then. Vanquish me. What? Vanquish me. Do what you were here sent here to do. Then vanquish the Ouroboros. And then the fungal parasite. Do as you were told. I can't. You can't? You believe that I can simply strangle you. For whatever reason, I cannot. Humans are weak. My host is weak. Why the shareholder chose this host, I understand. Uh, why, why the shareholders chose this host... I don't understand, I guess I'll just put this a strange translation. Unless I'm having a brain fart. And then, why don't you? Why don't we lend each other a hand? There's a big pit on the third floor. I don't know what happened, but bottom line, you can't get there. I can give you something to cross it. You said lend each other a hand? You want me to help you too? Two things. Not at all complicated, really. First, you don't vanquish me. Second, make this girl on the third floor stop rattling. Vanquish a human girl? Hey, your words, not mine. Feel free to deal with her in whatever manner you want. So how about it, you win? Let's... let's shake hands on it. Haha, <laughs> I knew you were one of puns. Whatever. But you don't know where that hand's been! I mean, you, you do. It's been in the toilet. What are you still doing here? You're supposed to be picking up a plank for the offices. 
A plank. I don't remember being talking about a plank, but okay. That was a strange experience. I wish I could walk in that weird dream world. I wonder if it's like the dream world I'm going to assume was maybe an attack, maybe from the hand. Like maybe some kind of like mental attack. I'm not sure if they have some kind of like, you know, psychic abilities, like Mother Series, for example, kind of thing. Not sure. I'll see if the girl in here has moved at all. Mm, just, just dead. Just dead and stored, I guess. It could still move at some future point. Just who knows. Looks like it's open. There's something inside. There's a pair of scissors inside. Well, that could be used as a weapon. But if we can be maybe... If we can be passive and... Maybe a pacifist, if possible. Depends. I can definitely see the inspiration of a Parasite Maxim, though. So a lot of reoccurring themes might happen that probably spoils me to... Like, what they plan on doing for the game. Depends. It's a gap between two shores of floor. Gazing in, you can see the faint outlines of the floor below. Alright, so we need to find that plank, then. Use scissors to cut the plant, yes. Alright. Wait. Oh, what was that? Can I go in the sewers? Like, I'd rather save. It looks like some sewer entrance. Now that you hacked away the weeds, you can open it. It's locked. Uh might have to, I guess, ask for help from the hand. They say to get a... Oh. oh, hey, the desk is finally there. Also, a portrait, too. Who left that there? Left here by the hand parasite. Oh, okay, the hand parasite. Okay. I was wondering what I even had just seen, but... There's a gap between the two... Sh yeah, yeah, just put it down. Oh, even put it, like, exactly where I put it down. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't you dare do anything. It, it. If you just stand there, we don't... Oh, okay. I thought they were going to grab the board and flip it over. All right. well, at least they didn't rock the boat. Or the board, really. Mm. Oh, was the roof also... Oh, this is where the roof ceiling cave-in happened. Interesting. Hmm. Well, guessing all of this up here then is abandoned area kind of thing. A haunting melody fills the room. The lone sound of the second floor. Mm, la di da 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 da. Om pa pa pa. Disgusting. Disgusting. Play proper. Why don't you play proper? Who are you? Oh my god. Kubo Kiseki. Kiseki. Ugh. Kiseke? Kiseko? Kiseko. Yeah, yeah. It's, but it's mispronouncing it. Right. You appear quite knowledgeable for a child. Like all these other people, like just veteran parasites? Because I'm not a child? I'm a vessel for beings your putrid mind would never understand. I'm joking. Say she told me about you. So she did. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Children are to be fast asleep at this time. Well, I'm distracting myself. It's easier to do that than not distract myself. But I can't, I can't figure out this stupid song. What will happen when you figure out this song? I'll probably go home. Don't have anything more to do. Do you have a mind if I assist you? I will. Alright. Come as close as you as like. Hmm. The albums themselves are separated by genre. Rock, city, pop, jazz. Who would listen to this? Come on. Let's play. An instrument of beauty stands before you. A synthesizer. Oh. You ever play the piano? Kaseko Sam? There was a piano in my family home. I learned to play by ear. However, I'm, I have no formal music education. I can't read sheets. Oh, I see. Well, here's how it's gonna go down. I'll sing a tune, you repeat it. Got it? Yes, I understand. To listen to the child's tune, press the note button. To exit, press the shift keys. Do I use it with my mouse? Hmm. What? Oh god. Uh, 
Um, so, hmm. Oh, there's a musical sheet, I guess, off here in the black, but I just can't see it on my screen, unfortunately. Maybe because I have the screen, like, completely maximized. Hmm, what about over here, then? It stops over here, and the hand can go way over here. A outside, right, like, right here, it's this note. But one more left, and it turns into that. Hmm. Leaving so early, I have something to take care of. I presume it's a puzzle, but not one I think I can solve. Perhaps right now. It's either a convoluted puzzle, or I just don't have what I, what I need to solve it right now. Who knows? Huh. So I'm tasked with either solving the puzzle, perhaps, or killing them? Hmm. Because I don't know what they're talking about. Honestly, I don't know what the puzzle would be. So, we're just gonna go with stabbing, I guess. Actually, I can't go in the inventory here. Or, I can't go in the inventory here either. Better not be- I hope the inventory's not broken. It looks like also there's like a, a visual bug going on. Maybe I'll have to restart the game. Ah. Uh, Ion? I think there's any way I can help you right now. Did the best I could, I did. Sure. It's a strange translation, but... There's a weird visual bi bug going on, like with the uh, the piano being covered by a weird rectangle. You can see there on the bottom left of the screen. It's just like cutting off the corner. And also, I can't use X or Shift to get in my inventory anymore, so... I'll be right back and hopefully restarting the game fixes it. I'm going to presume I could just play the game and honestly just kill all the, um, the two parasites. All I have to do is, oh, also the thing's covering the bottom of the screen again still. What a shame. But I can hold the scissors, and when you do, you hold it in your hand, you can see them there. So I think you can use them as a stabbing weapon. I'll try, because if I can beat the game at the very least, you can do it definitely passively, but I don't understand the hand puzzle. Hmm? Uh-oh. Hey, kiddo, was that the thing you got there? Wait, no, you wouldn't. Right? I'll just... I'll go with this ending, then, if it means I can finish the demo. Hand Parasite Vanquished. Hmm, yeah, you could play the game definitely, then, uh, passively or not. The lifeless husk of the Hand Parasite has disintegrated. The Hand Parasite has been vanquished. Well, I'll go for the next one. But you could be passive, yeah. Or you could just do as you're told, like uh, a slave to the organization. We'll go with the slave route, I guess. It's honestly with a piano puzzle, I don't have enough clues in my mind to... Uh... Yes. To understand what they want me to do to finish the song. I have no idea if I'm meant to find like a, a musical sheet or some kind of clues. I don't know. I'll relook around the classroom to see if there's anything. Actually, maybe the note downstairs that had the drawing pictures would be able to help me. I'll find out. Mm, nah, the note didn't have anything about it. Well, I'm just going to vanquish the other person with the scissors then. Well, they told me to come as close as I'd like, so... <sighs> Kiseko? Mm. Are you feeling okay, Kisichan? There's something inside you. Hello, or to Kiseko? Two somethings. One spurs you to vanquish, the other forbids you. I must. I mustn't. You must. You mustn't. Do as I'm told. Do not. I'm a parasite. That is what I have been and will be. I'm a human. That is what I have been and always will be. Do. Do not. Do. Do not. <laughs> There's always the dilemma of Parasite Eve is, or not Parasite Eve, Parasite Maxim, yeah. It's okay now. Go home, it's not safe here, kid. But Kaseko, leave now. I, I don't feel well enough to play with you, sorry. Against your wishes, the body exhibits a smile. 
you collapse onto the wooden floor. Congratulations! We would like to extend our cheers to you. You have demonstrated your problem-solving abilities well. Except for solving the piano puzzle if I could or couldn't. In spite of its abrupt end. However, this is where the demonstration ends. Uh, before you leave, there's something we must give you. Your results. Very nice. So, even if I didn't vanquish the parasite, I guess it, then I could get the... a different... perhaps? It says... The Certificate of Parasitism. I guess they'd be upset if we didn't collect the notes and we didn't vanquish the parasites. Because if we bring the scissors to the second parasite, we can't vanquish them, but we could always vanquish the hand parasite. They bestow the title of Parasite Vanquisher upon the earworm parasite of Kaseko Kubo. Ah. Coming in 2023 or whenever it's ready. Game by Cuttlefish. Very nice. Yes. Um. No, enjoyable game, interesting game, but tell me your thoughts down below what you thought, if you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.